Here's your wrestling news for February 19th, 2022. And your headlines for today include, WWE couldn't edit out huge botch from this week's pre-taped SmackDown, popular babyface in line with push after SmackDown win, tag team to split, details on how WWE were able to get Stone Cold back for one more match, WWE announces iconic superstar as first inductee into WWE 2022 Hall of Fame, Corey Graves admits to sending embarrassing texts to the last person he'd want. Another celebrity reported to appear at WrestleMania 38. Title matches added to AEW Revolution card, who's facing whom on pay-per-view. Surprising names missing from tonight's Elimination Chamber event, and more. We are kicking off today with SmackDown as WWE's final show before Elimination Chamber was actually filmed in advance last week. With seven days to tweak the show to their liking, you'd think the show would be perfect, but that wasn't the case during the contract signing for the women's tag match at Elimination Chamber. Not only did WWE confirm the ridiculous stipulation that Ronda Rousey must compete with one arm behind her back this Sunday, but the company could not edit out the awful face slam botch during the show. Even with a week's notice, the segment still saw Rousey slam Charlotte Flair's head into the table, but the Queen's face barely made contact with the surface. Some have speculated that Flair deliberately no-sold her WrestleMania opponent, while others have said this was just a poorly timed altercation. Whatever the case, the segment was hokey and didn't do Rousey any favors, and it's exactly the opposite of what fans want to see from the Women's Rumble winner now that she's finally back with the company. SmackDown also saw an impressive opening match between Sheamus and Ricochet, and it was the high flyer who got the upset victory. This win didn't come as clean as you'd think. It was a distraction by Ridge Holland that made the difference as Sheamus nearly hit the brogue kick on his protege. This distraction allowed Ricochet to hit the recoil for the win, and there was a lot to unpack for this match. First, Ricochet getting the win was a big deal as his main roster run has been underwhelming for the most part. Despite a strong start capturing the United States Championship mere months after his call-up in 2019, the one and only has never reached the same heights, and is often resorted to squash matches and WWE main event. Defeating a former WWE Champion is a big win no matter who gets it, but is even bigger considering the position Ricochet has been in in recent years. Post-match, Sheamus shoved Holland to the ground, teasing dissension in their team. Holland, who was called up to SmackDown in last October's draft, has spent his entire main roster run with Sheamus, but it may just be a matter of time before a face turn and feud splits the pair in two. WrestleMania news now as Stone Cold Steve Austin will reportedly end his 19-year retirement this April when he takes on Kevin Owens. In the past, Austin has routinely refused to make any kind of in-ring return for WWE or any other promotion, but we now have an idea as to how this shocking return has come about. In the Wrestling Observer newsletter, Dave Meltzer reports that Austin's in-ring return will happen now that the company has a lot more money to spend these days, saying, Austin looks to be coming out of retirement to face Kevin Owens at WrestleMania this year. As for why now, there is far more money available for these types of matches, and Owens is someone who can work a good match and lose. Meltzer added that even if he wasn't wrestling, Austin was going to have some sort of on-screen role at the two-night event, and he's already been used in promotional videos for the show. Between WWE's budget cut releases, their relationship with Saudi Arabia, and their TV distribution rights, the company has never been more profitable, and all this extra cash has allowed for a match fans thought they'd never see. For 30 years, The Undertaker was a consistent force in WWE and was involved with some of the biggest names in the company. From Hulk Hogan to Stone Cold, John Cena to CM Punk, the Phenom has faced them all, and now he's taking his rightful place in the WWE Hall of Fame. The New York Times were the first to report that the dead man will be inducted, something that fans have been wanting to see for years. The question now is who will induct the legendary former champion into the Hall of Fame, as there's plenty of names that would make sense. With Steve Austin set for a WrestleMania appearance, perhaps he could do the honors, or even Undertaker's on-screen brother Kane. Vince McMahon has shied away from making public appearances in recent years, but we're sure the chairman would have plenty to say about the Phenom. Whoever it is, they'll have plenty of stories to tell about the dead man's 30-year career in WWE, as one of the all-time greats will finally become a Hall of Famer. 
This week, we reported that Corey Graves and Carmella will soon have a digital reality series, which is set to drop on YouTube later this month. The pair have been a couple for several years now and announced their engagement last October, but this week, Graves fired off a text message that quickly came back to haunt him. On Twitter, the WWE commentator said that he wrote out a lovey-dovey text to his fiance, but instead of sending it to Carmella, accidentally sent it to the boss. We can't imagine what Vince McMahon thought when he received the text, but Graves insisted that this was simply down to jet lag and not some bizarre way of trying to get a raise. Perhaps this awkward text will be a part of the couple's upcoming digital reality show, and it will definitely have taught the former NXT Tag Team Champion to always double-check who you're sending your texts to. Each year, WWE tries to have some celebrity involvement for WrestleMania, with it already being reported that Johnny Knoxville could wrestle Sami Zayn at this year's event. Zayn is no stranger to working with celebrities as he worked closely with Logan Paul this time last year, and now the YouTuber slash boxer could be set to make a return. Brad Shepard reports that Paul is going to appear at WrestleMania 38, and when Ringside News asked their sources, they were told WWE is reaching out to as many celebrities as possible for the two-night event in April. With Paul not having another announced fight at this time, his schedule is free for an appearance at WrestleMania 38, and the source added that he seemed to live up to his part of the deal the last time. Last time saw Logan Paul take a stunner from Kevin Owens, who had just defeated Zayn at WrestleMania, and we'll have to see what WWE has in store for the YouTuber slash boxer this time around. AEW News says the company is building towards their Revolution pay-per-view on March 6th, and now a couple of major title matches have been added to the card. During last night's Rampage, it was announced that AEW Women's World Champion Britt Baker will put her title on the line next month, this time against Thunder Rosa. AEW World Champion Hangman Adam Page will also be in action as he'll defend his title against Adam Cole, marking the former NXT superstar's first shot at championship gold since leaving WWE last year. It's also been confirmed that the AEW World Tag Team titles will be defended by Jurassic Express against two yet-to-be-named opponents, and we'll have to see how the landscape of AEW will change at their first pay-per-view of the post-Roads era. And we're ending today with today's Elimination Chamber event, as details have come out about WWE's latest event in Saudi Arabia. Mike Johnson of PW Insider reports that WWE expects 15 to 20,000 spectators at the Jeddah Superdome, which has a maximum capacity of approximately 35,000 seats. A source at the event says that Jeddah looks more like a United States city in compared to previous trips made by WWE to Saudi Arabia, and the talent have been received warmly by the locals. The Undertaker is not believed to be at the event, nor is MVP, meaning WWE Champion Bobby Lashley will enter the Elimination Chamber without his manager. Adam Pearce, Sean Devari, Shane Helms, Jamie Noble, and Chris Park, formerly Abyss, have all made the trip to produce the show in what will be WWE's last big stop on the road to WrestleMania 38. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.